what is HPV or human papillomavirus? A lot of you guys ask this question. I'm actually in explaining this. I'm going to hope that the Facebook genies do not like come and strike this video down because I got to explain a few things to you. Human papillomavirus or HPV is um, a virus, human papillomavirus. It is actually the most common STI in the United States, sexually hoping the Facebook people don't hear that. Anyway, 43 million people um, were infected by HPV in 2018, and there are different types of HPV, meaning there are different strains, lots of different strains. Some of them can even cause things like cancer and warts down there. You, you know what I'm saying? Okay, um, and again, I'm just trying to avoid the Facebook genies who might be out here trying to squash this video, but this is really important and I want you guys to know this information. Now, let me tell you, the, the thing about HPV that you need to know is that many people who are active, intimately active with other people, know what I'm trying to say, um, will be exposed potentially to HPV during their lifetime. The good news is, is that most cases actually do go away on their own. Um, and additionally, we also have a vaccine against it. Now, there are some cases that don't go away on their own and they actually progress. We're going to talk about that too. All right. So this is the thing. Okay. How do we get HPV? Well, we get it from being intimate with people, with other people who have it. That's how we get it, okay? Um, and it can actually be passed on without signs or symptoms. So you might be saying, how did I get this? And why didn't you tell me? Well, the person may not have actually known that they had it because it can be silent. You don't have to have any signs or symptoms. Um, and honestly, anybody who is intimate with other people can actually get HPV. So please understand that. The other thing you have to keep in mind is that you can actually also get symptoms years after being intimate with someone who had it in the past, okay? Kind of sneaky that way, I know, I know, but that's why I'm trying to go through the basics and just kind of let you know. Once again, I'm gonna reassure you that most cases of HPV actually go away on their own, that's good news, but when it doesn't go on, away on its own, it can cause things like cervical cancer. It's actually one of the reasons why we do pap smears. It can cause other cancers down below. I'm going to put that in the in the um, in the caption so you can read what types of ca of, of cancers. Um, it can also cause warts down below. Okay, you know what I'm trying to say. All right. It can also cause other cancers as well. I'm going to put those in the captions as well so you can see those too because I think that's very very important to keep in mind. Okay. Also, we have to keep in mind that those with a, a weakened immune system may be less likely or, or may not be able to fight off HPV as easily as other people. But let's talk about what we can do because I don't want you guys to feel like, well, what am I supposed to do then? All right, well, there are things that we can do, okay, against HPV. First of all is to get vaccinated. Parents, make sure you get your kids vaccinated and adults who are eligible get vaccinated as well. We do have vaccines that uh, you can get vaccinated from around 11 to 12 years old up to 26 years old. It's a vaccine I give in my office all the time. There's also for people uh, 27 to 45, um, you want to talk to your doctor, but there may be an option for you to get the vaccine as well. That is something you got to discuss with your dis uh, doctor and decide if that's right for you. Uh, the other thing, uh, ways to minimize the risk of contracting HPV is wearing protection. Using protection is super important. Also monogamy. Yes, monogamy is good for a lot of things, including this. And then of course, being screened for cervical cancer, that's through pap smears. That that's going to be very important as well. Um, you guys are probably asking, well, can I just go out and get a test for HPV? Well, there's not like a specific test like that that we do. Um, and remember, a lot of people don't even have any signs and symptoms of that. A lot of people don't even know that they have it. Oftentimes what happens is people have, um, uh, when HPV goes on or certain strains, it causes the warts, you know, it also may cause an abnormal pap smear or certain cancers or whatever, and that's how we find that someone actually has HPV strains, okay? Um, let's see here. Now, there's no specific treatment for the virus, but there are treatments for the things that the virus can cause, like warts, okay? Um, like some of the cancers that I talked about, precancerous lesions and things like that. So that's a good thing as well. Um, this is just the beginning. I just wanted to give you a little flavor of what HPV is about because I know a lot of you guys ask about this. Again, it is the most common uh, STI in the United States. 43 million people had it. Is that right? 43. Hold on. 43 million people infected in 2018. It's something important you should know about. You should go to the cdc.gov. You can go to uh, Cleveland Clinic. You can go to MedlinePlus.gov to read more about this so you can understand it. It's very important. Make sure that you're getting your kids vaccinated against HPV. Also that you're getting vaccinated if you are eligible as well. Guys, I'm Dr. Jen Cottle, practicing family physician, on-air health expert and video creator. Guys, I'll be back soon.